How's everyone doing? I'm Sid, an engineer on the AI tooling team here at Coinbase. I'm super excited to talk about our design system CDS and how we've been using AI tooling, such as MCPs, to help bring designs to life. But first, some context. Coinbase was founded in 2012 and is the most trusted place for people and businesses to buy, sell, and use crypto. We have around 5,000 employees, half of which are engineers, and these engineers are merging in a staggering 5,000 PRs a week. Ultimately, all of this code is reaching over 100 million users across the US and worldwide, with over $500 billion of assets under management. Now, the way our customers experience our products are through our retail mobile app, written in React Native and TypeScript, our desktop app, written in React and TypeScript as well, an advanced experience for traders who want to execute sophisticated trades, and finally, the latest evolution of our wallet product, now rebranded as the Base app, a place to post, earn, trade, and chat with friends. Powering all of these experiences is our design system, CDS, which we are also officially open sourcing. I'd love to share something special the team have prepared for you. Sweet. Whoa. Uh, there's some extra volume here, but OK, cool. Uh, CDS is our cross-platform component library for both web and mobile, with support for over 100 different components. Started in early 2021, we've since gone through eight major version releases. We're proud of the work we've done here and are happy to give back to the community by making it open source. You can find more info at cds.coinbase.com, and we'd love to hear your feedback. At the core of CDS is a modular architecture and a sophisticated system of design tokens. Whether you want to add theming via a top-level theme provider or low-level props, such as class name and style, CDS supports both. Accessibility is also a first-class citizen and is built into each and every component. This helps ensure that the experiences we create can be used by as many people as possible. Now, we talked about CDS. Let's talk about what the current design to code handoff looks like. Now, as an engineer, you're handed a Figma link by your designer. You open Figma. You find all the components being used. You then hop over to your documentation website, find the import paths, find the examples, all while switching in and out of the IDE. As you can see, there's a lot of context switching happening here, resulting in a slow, frustrating, and error-prone design-to-code process. To solve this context switching problem, we implemented a feature called Code Connect. Code Connect is a mapping between your design component and code component. As you can see in the screenshot, any engineer can now click on a component in Figma and see a live snippet of the code in the dev mode sidebar. You can see we have import paths, composition of subcomponents within a parent, and the design props being applied to code props. Now, while Code Connect works really well for components, engineers wanted code for entire frames. Another thing happened at Coinbase, which is the introduction of AI tools like Cursor and Cloud Code. While there was a lot of initial excitement, we soon started seeing a pattern of questions being asked in our internal Slack channels. The first is that these AI agents are really eager to satisfy your prompts and often lead to hallucinations such as making components that don't exist or creating props out of thin air, ultimately straying away from your design system. The context switching we were talking about earlier now intensifies as you are now a middleman for your AI. 
So we're, we're moving fast, but we're breaking things. Ultimately, the problem here is that these LLMs have been trained on a certain data set and often lack information about your design system. To solve this problem, we created a context file for each and every component. So we shipped this across a few consumer repos and got some really positive feedback, specifically about code quality and correctness. However, there are still a few issues here. These context files are taking up too much valuable space, even though your LLM may not need it. And next, who maintains these files? Say a new component is added or a new prop is added, how do you ensure that all these files stay in sync across the company? As you can see, we're sort of in a, between a rock and a hard place. Before, we didn't have any context, and then now we have too much. So we needed to find a way to be in the sweet spot that gets us the best possible outcome. Okay. And that's where we found out about MCP, which stands for Model Context Protocol. It's an open protocol created at Anthropic and has since become an industry standard for how AI agents connect to external data sources. And the beauty of this protocol is that LLMs can now fetch information on a case-by-case -case basis as needed. And this got us thinking, why not place all these context files behind an MCP server and use this technology to distribute this context? So that's what we did. We created a really simple CDS MCP with just two tools. The first gives the LLM a bird's eye view of all the components available without giving too much information. The second gives context of just one component. So things like import paths, examples, and props. Now our AI agents have the ability to, on a case-by-case -case basis, request information as required. So as we were making progress on the engineering side, it got us thinking, how do we do the same for the design side? And that's when Figma announced they were officially exploring an MCP for Figma. This MCP provides us with all of the context needed, such as con a code connect snippets, styling information, annotations, and more. So remember we were mentioning our engineers wanting the code for entire frames? Well, this tool helps us get there with all this additional context that the AI didn't have before. The next logical step was to try both of these together. I'm excited to share that this has completely changed the way we bring designs to life at Coinbase. We are now able to ship higher quality code much faster, all while significantly using fewer tokens and increased cost savings. And most importantly of all, leading to very happy developers. Now that we had some success on the design to code side, it got us thinking for how we could now improve ado measuring adoption and quality. So we built an MCP, source, MCP server for that. Sourcecraft essentially indexes all of our code repositories, and now via this MCP, we're able to do deep analysis of design system adoption, its correctness, usage, and even help plan deprecations, all while using plain natural language text. Research and analytics that have taken a few days or even weeks is now being done in minutes. This MCP has changed the way we measure adoption and now actively helps us guide CDS team strategy. In my opinion, one of the most important tools for any design system. And now our start, team started thinking, if MCPs work so well for design to code and for measuring adoption, what else can we accelerate at the company? And furthermore, what role can the design system team play in making this happen? So almost sort of an internal alpha, we created an internal app store that allows anybody to easily one-click install an MCP into your AI tool of choice. We also provided a system for an engineering team to create their own MCP server. So we provided a monorepo with a bunch of examples, a fully baked-in CI CD system, analytics out of the box via shared package, and distribution across the company via the app store. Slowly but surely, we saw a complete ecosystem of MCPs get stood up at Coinbase. Whether it's designed to code, testing your applications, measuring adoptions, or getting a guaranteed staff level code review on your PR, we're seeing a wide range of use cases across the different workflows at Coinbase. And over the last 100 days since launching this app store, 
We now have over 100 MCPs for both internal and external services, and these MCPs have now been used a staggering one million times across the company, many of which have completely rewritten the way teams operate at Coinbase. Now, with all these new AI tools and MCPs, we also notice a vibe shift happening at the company. For example, we created a playground with the CDS and Figma MCP pre-installed, and over the last few months, we've seen an explosion of creativity from teams. Folks are now sharing prototypes via Vercel links and are now graduating from the CDS playground to actual production code bases, which is really awesome to see. We're also now seeing tighter collaboration between designers and engineers, leading to a higher bar of creativity and execution. And with that, I'd love to share some takeaways. First is that AI amplifies creativity. We're seeing more innovation, not less. Coinbase is embracing AI tools, and we want to make sure every engineer and designer is AI-enabled. Second is to rethink from first principles. In this new world with AI tools, we've seen much higher success in just rethinking and building from the ground up instead of adding AI to older workflows. And finally, design systems matter now more than ever. AI tools are changing the way we work. Design systems are how we ensure that craft scales. And with that, I'd like to bring this talk to an end. It's been really fun sharing this work with you all. You can reach me on my Twitter handle at Siddharth Kul, and we'd also love to hear your feedback on our newly open source design system, CDS. Thank you.